Okay, hello Nuggets. It is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. And I just had to jump on here real fast because I am having some... I'm not going to say triggered, but I probably am. But it's it's something a little more of an irritant and a pet peeve. Uh, for all of you gurus and spiritually enlightened people who say that you have to do spirituality a certain way in order to be considered spiritual where did you start and I'm quite sure that trying to guilt or shame you into doing something that is better for you how did that how how did that work especially when it comes to those who are and I'm 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 not picking on people but this is just a pet peeve and take this in many different facets many different ways apply this how it applies but you sanctify self-righteous vegans. <laughs> mm. That is what works for you. That's great. I am glad that you found that that is something that gets you closer to God, closer to spirit. That's great. For those of you who are meat eaters and that's all you're going to do is eat meat. Great. But pushing your views off on people and trying to guilt or shame people into believing what you believe does the absolute opposite allow people to be who they are lead by example not pointing the finger and blaming and shaming who are you talking to me too because I do the same thing sometimes I catch I have to catch myself with my you know oh they're just un they're unawakened or you know or they don't get it or whatever I have to catch myself too because I too was once in that place so give each other a little bit more grace and a little bit more courtesy okay Step down off of your high horse just a little bit. Your intention, however positive, your energy is felt before your words are, are heard and perceived and understood. So if you take offense to this, okay probably talking to you um but yeah that that whole you we are here to encourage and help one another and guide one another yes that is our purpose here we are to do that with one another but with the the, with with things the way that they are now and people coming into understanding of who we are and learning our gifts your intention and your energy can be two totally different things so we, we, we should also be mindful of our delivery okay so when you say oh this enlightens you more or I do this so I see more and I'm more enlightened says who because the thing is is if God wants a rock to get up and talk 
God can do that. Unless you are so, you know, still caught up in your logical mind of that could never happen. So either you're enlightened or you're not. Okay. Thank you, Nuggets. That was TT's little ah for 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 right now, okay? Um I'm probably going to do this a few more times. As you can see, I took off my clothes and changed my clothes and was out here yoga and everything, but I had to <sighs> had to get that out. So there's some other things that I want to get out to. Um, and I'm going to tease it just a little bit because I think it does need to be said. There are... Be mindful of handlers. And I'm going to leave that at that, okay? Be mindful of handlers and people who are specifically sent to um, cause chaos in your energy to keep you from uh, progressing and moving forward in what you're supposed to be doing, okay? Be mindful of distractions. All right, Nuggets, I love you. I send you all blessings and light. Take care. Everything's going to be down in the description box below.